Rigging for rescue. So rigging for rescue is nothing new. We've always looked at the job that we're doing, looked at the positions that you can get in, think about the risks, think about getting people back from wherever they are. Um, what we are moving towards is releasable systems and um, deviations and stuff like that. But it's not always the case. You know, the simplest form of rigging for rescue is having a rescue plan. If you're up a block of flats and you've got a 90 degree edge, you're probably not going to want to lower someone all the way down. So having designated ropes rigged in a bag that don't do any work, that are just there in case, is rigging for rescue. You know, if you've got, a, if, you've got if someone's had a working line failure, they're hanging on the backup, something like that, then you need to be able to get to them quickly and have thought it out. So pre-rigged ropes in a bag up there, ready to go. chuck them off and you can go and get him. It doesn't need to be super fancy, it just needs to be well thought out. From quite simple rig for rescue systems, i.e. having another set of ropes rigged, uh, we can go to quite complicated systems that are all rigged on descenders. Everything's releasable, so we can do everything remotely. We don't have to go to the casualty. We can just take him straight out from where we are. I mean, this is worst case, not worst case scenario, but someone trapped under a deck who's mid rope to rope. This, if this was rigged traditionally, this would be quite a complicated rescue. Um, but the fact that everything's releasable, it means I can pretty much do it by myself quite quickly. So if we just go to what we've got rigged, I've got enough rope in the bag that I can either lower both systems down into a boat, or if you're onshore, you know, um, to the factory floor or whatever um, but if we have to bring him back up which you get in most you know offshore scenarios it's very simple enough rope to pull him back up as well pre-rigged three to one unlock my descender and I can just start pulling him out by myself a bit on that unlock that so I'll just keep my eye on him Obviously much easier with a team. So I'll just lower out on the other descenders now. So we'll just lower him out. If you're using two IDs, just give him a bit of slack like we used to do, lock them off. Sometimes they want you to use friction beaners, but when there's not a lot of weight on it, there's not a lot of point. Uh, and then I'll just go back to my hole Keep an eye on him. I'll just take the other ropes off now because they're completely done with. So once one side's done, I can just release those. They're completely free. And I'm just left with my three to one. So just unlock it. So we've turned a very complicated rescue into something that's as easy as using a three to one. Rigging for rescue on an aid climb is a little bit more tricky. There are ways of doing it so that you have the, your person lead climbing as they aid climb. Um, the big problem with an aid climb rescue is the amount of time that it takes to get to someone. So if you've, you can do a lot of things that make your life a lot easier. Yeah. So here I've made my victim aid climb with two ropes into two barrel knots into his cow's tails so that I've got permanent access to him. So I could access him from below if he was just aid climbing around in the roof or crucially if I've got enough rope, which I will have, I can access him horizontally and it, it stops me having to aid climb to him which will save me loads of time. So all I need to do is tension these up. And as long as I can see everything sweet, I've got, I've got very quick, easy access to him now.
Okay, so it does take two of us this, but if if we slacken off the tension lines that I come across on, I've got an aid. I can then use these lines very quickly, just clip one to his chest. Clip that to the anchor. Do exactly the same with the other one for the backup. Okay, so he's now got two points. We now tension up the ropes again using the descenders. Uh, I can then remove his extra points. Right, so we've tensioned up the rescue lines and we've removed his extra points. And um, because I made him, we've been aid climbing and using a rig and a long cow's tail as our short cow's tail, I don't need to counterbalance him. I can just operate the rig, lower him onto the whole lines, and now he's ready to go down. So once we're back at the hall end, we can just we can just lower the casualty down to the ground. It's obviously it's much easier this with a couple of people, uh, but I've not got any mates today. <laughs>